Kit and Nancy are very good parents. I've known them for years, and I can't imagine what it would be like to be without my my two. Uh, I'm a, a stay-at-home mom, and um, I love my babies very much, my big baby and my little one. Uh, and I know Kit and Nancy miss theirs too, especially on this Mother's Day. It's a day to think about that. Uh, and any mother, any mother in America or anywhere, would know what Nancy is going through on this day, uh, missing her daughter, and pray that her daughter will come home. The justice that will be done. Martha Ann was also touched and um, just uh, distraught, upset about what happened with um, um, Sabrina, and um, she asked several times what happened to her friend. And they used to play together, and they were good friends, and they really missed each other. And um, um, it would be wonderful for them to see each other again someday, God willing. Um, but Martha Ann was a good friend with Sabrina. They were almost like sisters. And um, we miss Sabrina very, very much. My name is Andrew Roselle. I've known uh, Kit Slider since 1992, and Nancy Hayes since. 1999, and um, I have been a friend throughout uh, Kit and Nancy's ordeal over losing their daughter Sabrina, and so has my daughter Martha Ann. Um, after Sabrina was taken from their home by social workers in Arlington County Police in uh, 2005, uh, uh, there were visits that were scheduled uh, to them, and. My wife Virginia would take uh, Martha Ann to visit to try to uh, cheer up Sabrina uh, because it was a, uh, she had been wrenched away from them and uh, it, it ended up that the county argued that returning Sabrina uh, to Kit and Nancy would be too traumatic and yet the trauma that, that had occurred was that the county itself had taken Sabrina. So here you have a situation where the original uh, injustice becomes the reason for injustice to continue and be made permanent. That makes no sense in any uh, sense of justice. The fact that uh, they were exonerated, the hearing officer in Richmond, uh, should lead someone to say, if there was no case there, then why did this ever allow to go? Why was this ever allowed to go forward? Instead of discipline being exacted on those who were responsible with CPS, the people who are punished are the victims. And in this country, we are supposed to be innocent until proven guilty. And in fact, they were proven innocent. But being proven innocent wasn't enough. They were still guilty because the social workers said that they were guilty. This is something out of Kafka, this is something out of the Soviet Union or Nazi Germany where there is no fixed standard of law, no sense of justice. And we have to right these wrongs. And I pray that anyone who is listening to me or Kit or Nancy or other friends or, uh, who know about this case will become involved find out what is happening and know that this is not isolated. This is going on across the country where because money is involved for these agencies for when they place these children into permanent foster care or where the children are adopted, where the families are broken up. There's an incentive for these bureaucracies, and I'm not attacking all bureaucracies. I myself am a bureaucrat, federal bureaucrat, civil servant, but there are perverse incentives at work. And these need to be fixed. And those responsible need to be punished so that these do not happen again. My own father uh, uh, is an 87-year-old uh, German Jew. He left uh, uh, Germany in the 1930s, 1936. There was no uh, sense of, uh, of ultimate law. It was what the Fuhrer decided it was. And if, if, there was, if someone was going to have no rights anymore, then they had no more rights. And when we allow judges to uh, arbitrarily take uh, someone's uh, parental rights away, then in a less extreme way, we become like that, or like the Soviet Union in Russia and in Romania and the whole Eastern Bloc.
So what we need to be careful of is to not lose these rights and not be uh, to think that, well, that happened to someone else. These things with family law can happen to anyone. They happen sometimes over divorce. Sometimes they happen over uh, uh, anonymous tips that are false, even, even malicious. But once the allegation is made, to, to refute it and to uh, be exonerated is extremely difficult. And there are families that are permanently broken up uh, and uh, by these uh, cases. We should be entitled to a jury by our peers where guilt is proven by the prosecutor beyond a reasonable doubt, not assumed, and then you have to prove your innocence beyond a reasonable doubt. Or where they don't even give you the chance to be to, to go the, the whole way of a reasonable doubt, where in the case of Kit Nancy, once the initial trial had taken place, there was no attempt in the subsequent um, retrial, uh, in, in the appeals, to have a retrial. Well, that's wrong. If it's going to be a retrial, then let the evidence come out and let the, 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 the favorable uh, reviews by the hearing officer come out, not just cover it up. These have to be exposed. Thank you for your time.